Kaduna, one of the prominent states in the northwest of Nigeria, is among the leading vegetable producing states in Nigeria. Available statistics shows that tomatoes, onions, pepper, carrots are produced in large scale in Kaduna. But managing the vegetable during and after harvest has always been a major challenge, especially to small scale farmers due to its perishable nature. This necessitated this training, organized by the Food and Agriculture Organization under the Africa Food Project to equip farmers on various ways to harvest, store and process their vegetables to avert post-harvest losses. Participants, mostly drawn from Jiri, Kagaruko local government areas of Kaduna State, were exposed to new technologies on how to add values to their produce. We want to dry or we want to process tomatoes, we want to use the one that has spoiled. Now what you don't know is this, that one that has spoiled, there are microorganisms, bacteria, fungi that cause that spoilage. They are already inside, even if you cannot see it with your naked eye, they are already inside. And as you process it, they will continue to help you to spoil it. Do you understand? So the ones that are already getting spoiled are the ones you should use up immediately. Do you understand? Or find a way if it's the one that is not edible again. You cannot eat it again because of health reasons like we talked about aflatoxins the other time. You can use it to form compost. It's a workshop on its own. You make compost to use as fertilizer on your farm, all those wastes, food wastes. So nothing will be wasted. The trainers took time to explain and introduce to the participants basic methods of preserving tomatoes. That the tomato must be very good. You can't uh, preserve already spoiled tomato. Then the hot pepper and the cooked pepper you we also use must also be very good must not be the one that has already spoiled and the bottles that you are going to use in pasteurizing must not have any crack either outside or inside either visible or invisible crack the cover must be good the cover can be plastic cover it can also be iron cover the difference between the two is that this plastic cover has an internal lid made of uh, like uh, carton paper. So it should not use the one that is already wrinkled. You understand? It should not tamper with the internal lid. Now, we said you should boil the tomato after you grind them together. Boil it very well. And the essence is to reduce the water content of the mixture. When you start scenting something like stew or soup, you can then decide to sieve to, re to also reduce the water using this muslin clothes. You allow it to cool before you go to the next stage. The next stage is the stage when, go back, when you allow it to, to cool down, you now, uh, you, then you put you, put the tomato in the bottle. When you are doing that, you scoop and you shake. Let me just demonstrate.
Participants are optimistic that the training will go a long way in boosting their socio-economic well-being, as well as their output, thereby ensuring food security in the country. Hajia Sadia Haliru is the focal officer, UN Joint Programme, who coordinated the training. It is estimated that about 70 to 75 post harvest losses are incurred by farmers in Nigeria. This can even be higher for vegetables, which are perishable crops. Therefore, FAO's training is timely on harvesting, processing, and storage of vegetables. We are also aware of some of the factors that are responsible for these losses, post-harvest losses. One of them is um, lack of access to storage facilities, poor handling during harvesting, transportation, and packaging. We also have the issue of um, bad road networks and uh, lack of processing and value addition and market information. We are aware that the farmers face a lot of challenges and they are also under pressure to sell immediately after harvest to avoid losses so as they can um, have some savings. In order to assist farmers overcome these problems, FAO in collaboration with the Kaduna State Government and other UN agencies, that is ILO and ITC, and the only private sector, the Sahara Foundation, are jointly, is jointly implementing a project to empower young men and women in Jiri, in Kaduna State. This project, which is um, on agriculture and livelihood initiative, is aimed at integrating the entire vegetable food value chain. That is the farmer, the wholesaler, the retailer, and the consumer. Thereby providing a sustainable source of food security, poverty eradication, skill acquisition, and social inclusiveness. Um, or we look forward to learning from experiences from one another and challenges that we, collect, we collectively face every day in advancing agriculture sector and food value chains. We have dwelled so much over the period to teach people how to plan, how to apply fertilizer, how to do things. We have realized that you have reached that level and we have passed that. Today, is, we are concerned about employment. We are concerned about reducing poverty. We are concerned about food insecurity. We are concerned about harmonious relationship. We are concerned about the issue of youth, about the issue of women, about even issue of our future, because a lot of farmers that we have in our communities today are becoming old. The young people have not found pleasure in practicing agriculture. And why United Nations, through Food and Agri Organization, International Labor Organization, that is concerned with issue of labor worldwide, International Trade Center, that is concerned with trading activities globally, put head together with Federal Government of Nigeria and Kaduna State Government, and decide that, look, we have to create examples. So you are supposed to be that examples with very big markets around you, but you are left, if you check Abuja, it's just like 50 kilometers away. And when you turn right, Kaduna is 90 kilometers away from you. And you have irrigation facility, you have land, and you have people. What remains for you is to have the skill, the knowledge, and the understanding. And you are here today. We didn't select only one or two. Initially, it was going to be some few of you, but luckily, after extensive and exhaustive interaction with Hajia and with her Chief Adenuga, because you are no more Mr. Adenuga. When you come to Kaduna, you are Chief Adenuga. Chief Adenuga and their colleagues, they agree. Every one of you should be trained.
And that is why today we don't only have representative of 30 of you, but we have all the over 206, is it 246 of you to be trained. And not only that, even our extension support and our zonal managers are included into it because of the importance that we attach to this. In addition to even this training, we are also collaborating again to train about 250 extension officers for them to be able to understand the direction. Agriculture has been held before as a beggar. It is high time for you to wake up. It's one of the most noblest profession. But what we realize is lacking is the lack of understanding of the new dynamics of agriculture. And our determination as a state is to be able to make agriculture as a leading and also as a contributor to the national economy in the area of generating wealth, creating employment, guaranteeing food security, and possibly export and revenue to participants and to the government in the medium and the long term run. And to achieve this is this issue of capacity building. Some of the participants have now been selected as trainers to improve the knowledge of other farmers in vegetable production to in turn deliver the knowledge acquired to other project beneficiaries. This is the third in the series of Training the Trainers program organized by the FAO and Kaduna State Government. <laughs>